What is going on, guys? It's good to see you and welcome back to my channel. I'm Ispas Robert, your fitness guru for the next 30 days. As you know, I'm glad you're back for a new lecture. And today we're gonna talk about diets. What diets are available on the planet and how these diets are. So let's jump into it, shall we? So first thing first, we're gonna talk about the standard American diet, which is the diet which is proposed in America and that's actually not a good thing that they do such kind of things but in the past 40-50 years that's what they do is eat a high uh, fat and high carb diet basically so they have a lot of carbohydrates that eating a lot of fats which comes from frying their food so they eat a lot of fast food which basically would n not be that bad if you would eat only, let's say, the hamburger, but you're always eating fries, you always consume then a soda, so you're eating a lot of sugars, a lot of carbohydrates, and a lot of processed fats, which, in combination, they are not good at all. So you can see that uh, that's why America is getting uh, problems and health issues, just getting fatter uh, every single year. So, we, have, uh, we looked up to the American diet, but let's see the more healthier versions of uh, diets. For example, we have Mediterranean diet, which is uh, very popular among the countries uh, in the Mediterranean Sea. So, it's not standard basically what they eat because they are different countries, so they have different cultures, but they eat. Uh, lots of fruits, vegetables, uh, fresh vegetables and good quality ones. Uh, so good quality uh, carbohydrates, pasta, brown rice and stuff like that. They eat in, uh, in good quality meats. They try to avoid the high processed meats. So those deli meats which are highly processed. So they're not like... Uh, uh, Hamon or uh, pancetta, for example, in Italy, th those are something different. They are cured differently than it would be in a big factory. So, yeah, uh, they add healthy fats to it, to this equation, and they also add some wine. Wine, also, of course, can be skipped if you don't want it to, but the point is they try to avoid processed food as much as they can, and to avoid processed fats as margarine and uh, try to avoid as much as it, uh, they can the pasta which is made of processed uh, uh, wheat which is not as good and th uh, they avoid soybean oil, canola oil, these type of things and avoid most importantly most of the sugar that's processed so you don't uh, consume that much sodas and stuff like that. Now, the next diet is paleo diet. This diet is something new, I would say, but it uh, goes back to the paleolithic life. So, when we consumed everything mostly raw, so the base of this diet are like that. You will eat fats, proteins and carbohydrates but you will not eat nothing processed. So you eat fish, uh, meats, and but you cook them, of course. Eggs, uh, healthy fats, so you still use olive oil, but you try to avoid soybean oil, canola oil, those um, things which are highly processed. But here, uh, one interesting thing is you skip daily completely because Paleolithic life was not, uh, for Paleolithic, was not available the dairy product so you know cheese no butter no cream but you have also that you can eat besides the fats and eggs you can have nuts vegetables fruits uh, but be careful with nuts if you eat too much you get uh, you're gonna be in a high calorie surplus uh, also you have to avoid sugars uh, potatoes, you have to avoid uh, rice and pasta. 
because they are processed and the ancient people didn't know how to make them. Now we're gonna move on to one of my favorites, which is the keto diet. Keto diet is the ketogenic diet, and uh, what it's famous for is a really, really high fat diet. So 75% of it is coming from fat, healthy fats. Uh, then you have 20% of protein and 5% carbohydrates, which are just non starchy vegetables. So, as long as you make the transition right, afterwards your body is going to convert to a ketosis state when you produce energy out of fat, which is really useful because you have to know where this ketosis and this thing comes from. Basically, in the 70s, they tried to cure epilepsy with this diet, but that uh, it's really helpful, in fact, and it helps regenerate cells and to uh, reduce these epilepsy symptoms. But that keto diet is way higher, so it's like 80 85% of the diet is fats. So to achieve that uh, mental health, it's even higher. But keto diet is really helpful. And what you can eat on it are fish, uh, meats. Uh, you can have some processed meat, but be careful because sometimes they add sugar to it. So check the labels. Uh, and not only the uh, carbs content on it, just check also the ingredient list. Because the ingredient list is based on First, uh, like they are in order. The things which are first are the most uh, in the product. So when you see things like sugar on the second uh, ingredient, that's not a good thing. And that applies to all the diets and all the nutrition. You eat eggs, you eat healthy fats. Try to avoid as much as possible uh, canola oil and uh, those like mayonnaise made of canola oil or, or uh, soybean oil. You eat some vegetables, green leafy vegetables like uh, kale, cabbage, uh, what else? You spinach, uh, you can have bell pepper, some carrots in moderation, tomatoes, a lot of stuff. Uh, basically, you can eat a lot of things, uh, cucumber. But you have to avoid rice and potatoes, uh, so everything which has starch in it. But in my opinion, it, after you make the transition, it's not a bad diet, in fact. And now we come down to the bodybuilding style diet, which is, um, I will explain in a future video, which uh, diet is the most suitable, in my opinion, for reaching the bulking goals or to reaching your fat loss goals. So, in my opinion, the regular bodybuilding style diet, which is 45% carbs, 35% protein, and 25, uh, 20 percent fat, it's also a good diet. But you have to uh, make your mind like you don't eat like cheat day every single day. You eat natural and good sources of carbohydrates, good sources of protein, and good sources of fat. So you're just not eating pizza and stuff every single day. You're eating a lot of rice, lots of chicken to make those calories. So th these are the diets I tried out. And uh, I also tried low carb, which is basically allowing you to eat everything, but you have to keep in moderation the carbs Pretty much 100, under 100, 150 grams, depends on persons, but yeah, that's, you have to keep in mind, so you have to reduce sugars to do that, you don't eat as much uh, rice and stuff, you can find some alternatives, for example, in Hungary, there are a whole chain for that, which uh, sells uh, pasta uh, for uh, way lower, lower carbs and everything, like flour and stuff. But yeah, it's a good alternative for some people, but not for everybody, and also it's quite expensive. So all these diets are really good, but you have to find the right one for your goal. So in order to find that out, stay tuned for tomorrow when we're gonna discuss which diet is the best for reaching your fat loss goals.
or to reach your um, hard gain goals or bulking goals, you know. So, with all that, guys, hit that thumbs up button and, and see you at the next one.